Hi guys, Doris Moto here and we are here live at Pride Inn Azure Westlands and we are here hanging out with Mystery, an amazing, amazing performing artist who has done a collab with Three Cross. Hi. Hey, how are you done? You look nice. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You do too. <laughs> Thank you. So maybe how long did it take for you to dress like this? Um, that is all thanks to my, my stylist, <laughs> like about 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes? Yeah. Not two hours. No, I... Get the makeup done and everything. Makeup and, and, and styling was like, yeah, an hour. An hour. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So we see you're really close with uh, Kasipul. How do you know each other? Kasipul reached out to me when he found out that I'm, I'm doing... I, I did a song with Rick Ross. And he, we just started chopping it up. And we just realized we have a same, you know, a similar passion for Kenyan music. So, yeah, we've been talking ever since. Yeah. How does it feel to work with a big name like Rick Ross? How does it feel? It was such an honor and for him to even just give me such a great verse, like such a, a well thought out verse, it was it was such an honor. Yeah. So maybe did you write the song or did he write the song or how did it go? I wrote did the I, I wrote the song, um I, I also made the beat and then now then he added his verse to it. Yeah so but Rick Ross is No 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 oh hell no no. Oh. Rick Ross wrote his whole verse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe how did you get to know Rick Ross? So the thing is, I've been a songwriter for, for a few years now. So I've made a few connections in the industry. And then, so I got a, a plug. One of my clients actually that I wrote for gave me the plug. It's like, you know what, I can actually link you up with Rick Ross's team. And then one, you know, push came to shove and here we are. <laughs> can you name like a few artists that you wrote songs for in the United States? Um, you know, the thing is, there's a thing called being a ghostwriter. And when you become a ghostwriter, they don't like you to reveal that you've written songs for them, so I can't really reveal that, but you know, yeah. So like, what do you see, where do you see yourself in the music industry like in the next five years? Will you still be in Kenya and mm -hmm. doing big stuff in the United States? I want to do, I want to take over the world, so that's why I'm, I'm even doing like Afrobeats music. I want to, I see myself in, you know, the O2 Arena, the Grammys, the works, that's the goal for me. I'm like, I'm one of those people who's like, go big or go home. But for now, still in Kenya, now, now. Oh yeah, you have to start from the, from the bottom, you know, so you got to start from the bottom, you got to build your fan base. Yeah, so yeah. You know, fans are curious. Maybe, are you dating someone? I'm very single. <laughs> very single. Yeah. So, do you have maybe a Kenyan celebrity crush? Um, not really. Not really. I, I who say. would you almost like? I Literally, I can't think of anyone. I respect them as artists, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> do you know KRG? Oh yeah, KRG is a very funny guy, and I saw his song with Conscience. It's really dope. Time, time, time bomb. Timbom, yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw it on TikTok. I saw all the, you know, the challenges. Really, really cool. Yeah. Do you want to work with him? Oh, for sure. Yeah. His energy, his his humor, for sure. So yes. Which film and celebrity would you like to work with? I love Karun. Karun. Oh, Miss Karun. Yeah. Miss Karun. Um, Zinia Manase. Nikita Kering. All the ladies are doing amazing. So I'd love to work with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe right now that you're in Kenya and you are out there, what do you think? Like you know, uh, um, Kenyan artists, there was the Grammys and none of now none of the Kenyan artists were nominated. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about that? Are you do you feel as if you're going to change the game? I, I, that's that's the goal because that's why I'm doing Afrobeats music because you know Afrobeats is the wave and it's 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 a sound that a lot of people around the world can latch onto. So that's the goal. I don't. I just don't want to do music for Kenya alone. Like it's it's boring. Like I'd rather just have a nine to five job, you know. But yeah. So for me, the the challenge is how how far can I take this music? So how far definitely. Can you take Kenyan music. How far can you take this music? Kenyan music. This music. I think as a Kenyan, I'll be an ambassador of Kenyan mm -hmm. as a whole. Even if I'm doing Afrobeats, mm -hmm. I'll still be an ambassador of Kenyan music. So yeah, I want to see how far I can take it. So any collaboration? Coming collabs, coming projects, coming work. Well, I, I currently have a song called No Bad Energy with Jay Wills. He's an Afrobeats artist from Nigeria. And, um, we're, we're, you know, there's so many artists that I want to work with. Mario from Tanzania, you know, Nyashinsky, Bien, Calligraph. Like, I really, I really respect those guys and I'd, I'd love to work with them. So when can you expect your video with Rick Ross? So now, the thing is, you need to tell Rick Ross to get with the program. <laughs> Now that you told us that you you know you're single, what do you like when maybe you're choosing a guy? 
Um, What's your talent? For me, it's emotional intelligence. Like like people who are who have a, a great mindset, um, emotional intelligence is very important to me. Um, a person is obviously very intelligent, funny, witty. Yeah. Financially stable? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to take care of anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I'm more into like a person's soul and energy and spirit, you know. Yeah. yeah. Maybe as you end up, maybe any thing, maybe any words to your fans. Yeah, and any maybe word of encouragement to any upcoming artists. Well, the first thing is I, I I'd love my fans to actually go and stream the song. It's all over. It's Ameliana. Uh, it's on YouTube and Spotify everywhere. Then then I also have No Bad Energy. Featuring Jay Wills, so listen to the song. Um, words of encouragement is just to believe in yourself and to just follow your, your dreams. Like there's nothing that can stop you. There's there's no dream that is too big. Like I have this huge dream. It's like I want to win a Grammy, and it seems impossible now, but that is not stopping me from pursuing my you know my dreams. So as you wind up, wind up. There's nothing going on between you and Kasipo. Me and Kasipo, I love him with the love of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> I got the love. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Omondi, our president of comedy Africa. Yo, yo, this is Kushman. Pedi wa magengi. Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Subscribe. Kwa stories za nini? 254. Across all social media platforms. Hapana kuchanganya. Na uende dori. Subscribe right now. Finya sahi. Sa, we have a